Shookas Lookas, welcome back to the channel for 10 simple mods that are sure to enhance your gameplay, aka Jen's version of a mod haul. So lately, you guys, I have been just kind of stumped, just stumped with The Sims 4, really craving uh, some more finer details to really add in that realism, and I feel like The Sims as a whole really does focus on the big picture, and I kind of miss the more, like, tinier details when it came to, like, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Now, although these aren't on par with the details I do feel like they kind of fill in that void that I'm looking for so before we kick off this haul I just want to go ahead and let you guys know all of the mods featured today are on Little Miss Sam's webpage and they're free and available to you right now if you so choose to download them all of the links will be on my website in order as we go through them so very first I want to go ahead and start off with healthy drinks now am I the only person here that really wants a freaking um like a, a blood of some kind, a smoothie maker, a juicer even. I really don't care. I feel like athleticism in the game is so prominent. It's definitely one of those key aspects. And how freaking amazing would it be to be able to cater not, not only to the vegetarian sims, but the sims are also into fitness and health and all that kind of fun stuff. But although we don't necessarily have a juicer or a smoothie maker, um, Little Miss Sam does offer the option to consume healthy drinks, which are so much more than what they appear so it says I just wanted to have some healthy drink options in the game this mod adds a new interaction to fridges called healthy drink which lets your sims grab the following drinks so they can get carrot juice spinach juice they can also get bell pepper juice lemon juice potato juice tomato and plasma juice which by the way um costs you money and if you wanted to you can create these juices with the ingredients that your sims grow in their garden or not you can just go and pay for them um as you consume them or again you can kind of like cap that cost by having those ingredients already in your inventory so it says sims will get a one hour buff with a happy point one which will also increase the fitness skill a little bit teens and children will gain a bit of responsibility like tea it will also influence the sickness system so here we are you guys with the lodge household you might actually be familiar with this family as they have been featured in several of my mod reviews in the past and also I know I did do a creative sim on them a couple months back. So if you are interested in downloading them, they will be available on my gallery at Gen 2606. Just keep in mind, they are completely CC free on the gallery. I am obviously featuring some CC for this video. And also, they are children in the uploaded version on the gallery. And as right now, they are kind of children still, but you know, Shiloh's a teen and her little brother isn't a toddler anymore. This family is seriously just one of those fan bams that I hope to play in the future because of their relationship and how wholesome they are. They just make my heart melt every time that I am next to them. And of course, they had to close that statement with a hug. Anyways, today, you guys, we are going to go and just kind of like enjoy the summer heat. Um, Shiloh over here is watching a little television, so she's probably the only one in the household not really enjoying the sun. However, she is working up quite a thirst. So let's go into the fridge just to see what we can go ahead and snag. Um, so with the new healthy drink mod there are a bunch of different options. Now, I don't know if Little Miss Sam does plan to add more flavors in the future, but I definitely would love to see like an apple juice option or maybe even possibly a cranberry juice one as well. Now, this next I guess suggested or even maybe just like idea might be a little far-fetched and you're probably thinking Jen's really reaching on this but I think Little Miss Sam and Kawaii Stacy should get together and maybe like intermingle their mods in a sense so like Kawaii Stacy could create a UTI <laughs> infection um, because under Slice of Life she does have like various illnesses that you can catch and then I was thinking Little Miss Sam could create a cranberry juice do you see what I'm saying and maybe somehow that could counteract, uh, counteract the UTI just you know just saying I mean when it comes to the world of mods you can do anything like there is no judgment here that is what they they literally exist for is to add more realism into the game and that kind of stuff happens all the time however I would I don't even care if those other features are a thing I do feel like she should add 
more flavors in the future because I just really love the option of being able to come in here and select something other than water, juice, or milk. That's just that's just weird. So I think right now Shiloh is really interested in testing out this brand new spinach juice recipe. So if we did have the ingredients in our inventory or in our garden, we would be able to get these juices at a steep discount or completely free, I do believe. I don't ever really play too much with the ingredients, uh, to be honest, but I do feel like that would somehow help in one way or another so right now she's enjoying she's enjoying her spinach juice but also thinking about cupcakes if that isn't me in a freaking nutshell I really don't know what is that is like actually me trying to be healthy I'm like sitting here eating eating a bowl of broccoli but you know girl I'm really thinking about that fettuccine alfredo <laughs> I'm not gonna even lie okay with the breadsticks and ooh, girl, I'm getting hungry so right after shy is just about finished drinking this juice she actually earned a little bit of responsibility, um, which you will be able to see right here underneath the little broken check, which I think is a really interesting metaphor. And then um, over here, you can see her new happy buff. So it says, drinking a healthy drink tastes good, and it also makes you feel good. And this buff here will last a whopping 40 minutes. And every drink that you consume will give you that happy, kind of uplifted um, buff. And I'm pretty sure when I read in the notes to you guys it will also help with fitness oh my god it won't help with embarrassment though but it might help with fitness I think if you are an adult and I don't know if there's anything else that I wanted to add yes there is so if you do have the slice of life mod um, by Kawaii Stacy or get to work and your sim does experience a little bit of you know illness whether it be a cough or something along those lines I do believe just being able to consume these drinks will actually help counteract the negative effects from that because it kind of is classified as a herbal tea. Next one is offer appearance styling and earn more money. So you will need Get Famous to be able to actually use this mod in particular, but it's pretty cool because your Sims can now uh, style NPCs and earn money, which if you also have Get to Work, you could create your own little boutique and you could definitely do this as a little side hustle while maybe you have like some just random objects on your lot for sale you can obviously offer the clients a little makeover or a quick little styling um so styling an npc will give you 150 for children 225 for teens 300 uh, for young adults and older Famous Sims will pay a little bit extra depending on their level between $50 to $250 extra. You can carry the all-in-one styling station in your inventory to style NPCs in parks or even on the street. I also added an icon and theme slash reputation loot to the offer app, Styling Interaction. Um, tip, if it is raining and the style station is outside, close the umbrella before using the put in inventory interaction or else the game might not like it. So now Actually, I was tempted to test out this mod in a salon setting. So in order to do this, you are obviously going to need Get to Work to have a salon as a business. However, if you do not have Get to Work, have no fear. You can obviously drop this bad boy in your inventory and do all of your makeover shenanigans on the streets, in parks, any type of lot that you can get your sim at. Um, it doesn't actually have to be in a salon at a business. So the only thing that I did do in this particular salon just to get the, like the clients coming in is I set this entire wall of lotions for sale. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to come over to our little styling station and we are going to offer an appearance styling to let's do Morgan. Now something I did notice when I was just kind of doing a little like demo playthrough is that if your sims um, are you know taking too long or whatever the situation is somebody actually might come in and sit in the chair which is kind of annoying especially if you do finally get up to your sim and you have them go and sit down sometimes somebody might be in their chair so it's like a game of freaking and musical chairs it's very annoying so I highly suggest having a couple of these bad boys open or I don't know I don't know how you would really um get around that so here we are mr. Maverick is going to go ahead and make over Morgan right is that her name okay she is super duper gorgeous so naturally she doesn't need it um, we actually earned 220 five simoleons and I didn't even realize this but it will take you in to create a sim if you wanted to go and give her a little makeover and the only options that you're gonna have is just hair accessories hats and makeup which is kind of cool so let's just go really quick and play 
around a little bit. Um, we're gonna try something a little, a little bit different, a little bit out of the box, and that's probably not gonna be even that crazy at all. I kind of like this hairstyle on her, if I'm being honest. Um, we can, we can indeed change up the eyebrows if we wanted to. So let's go and give her. Um, I kind of like these. Like they're not what I would normally use, but I kind of like them on her face. And then for her makeup, uh, let me go and use, let me see, let me get rid of the hot weather. We're going to use my eyeliner. We're going to go ahead and kind of like smoke that out a little bit. Do you see how it just adds a little bit of drama to the eyeshadow here? And then let's go and top it off with maybe a pair of lashes again gotta remove that hot weather thing because it always like screws up what I'm trying to look for so there we are we're gonna add these lashes and I think the last thing that we're gonna go and do for her today are let me see labios let me use I don't know I don't know like what I can do it's a hot summer day maybe we should go and play um, with the lip gloss Ooh, I like this okay cool so that's all that I'm gonna do I'm not gonna like fuss obviously but I like it so we earned 225 friggin simoleons for doing that now obviously um, you can ask other sims to give you makeovers I think you can also offer makeovers to other clients for free but I really love that added little extra detail that you indeed get to get paid for it. So there we go. We earned 225 simoleons. And you could literally do this all freaking day long. And of course, Morgan loves her new look. So she went ahead and snapped a little selfie. Online gaming with headsets. I just wanted my teens to be able to play online with their friends with a headset on so that they could speak with them. City living and get famous are required. So with this mod, I added a new pie menu to the video gaming content consoles called online gaming with headsets where you can choose a color swatch and there are nine in total for the hat slash headphones in create a sim there is beige red white light blue green lavender black and so on this way you can give teens and above their own headset style after you activate a headset it will automatically be visible when the teens and above play online via the video gaming consoles and vanish again when they are finished. If you don't want them to wear it anymore when playing online, you can just deactivate the headset via the pie menu. Having the buff will fill the social motive and gain some emotional control for the teens slash kids. Now the fan bam is just kicking it in the living room and to be honest, Shiloh really wants to go online and play with some of her friends. A quick little game of party frenzy. So we're going to go and check out the headset. So the first thing that you need to do is you actually need to come on here and activate you need to make yourself a little selection uh, any of these will work just fine um, so I feel like I'm going to have Shiloh pick probably the black and gold pair so once she's gone ahead and selected which one she wants um, I'm pretty positive all that she needs to do now is just play an online game so we are gonna go and click party uh, play party frenzy with Cassandra so in order for the headsets to actually show up you're going Going to need to make sure that you are playing online with somebody. I had the impression um, that the headsets were literally going to work anytime that you played, but it kind of it, it's it's actually more realistic that you would only wear a headset if you're playing online and you're speaking to your friends. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. But if your sim is kind of like me and you don't have like a lot of online friends, it's going to be weird because you're not going to be able to use them. But I still really liked it. Um, and then when she's finished playing it, she does gain a little bit of that emotional control I've already gone ahead and like played through just to make sure everything works and I also noticed this little buff here um, but I'm not sure if it has anything to do with the headset but she did get a life is great buff which is kind of cute but I'm not seeing anything in particular pertaining to the headset itself so if you wanted to just disable the headset for whatever reason all you need to do is just click deactivate and the next time that you play online your sim will no longer be wearing the headset the next following four mods are generally all under the same category so I decided to go ahead and just group them together so we can get the show on the road the first one is go for a walk with more 
pets and this is going to be a rabbit hole. It says with three dogs in game it takes a lot of time to go for a walk with one pet after another. Since the rooting system is complicated as hell I decided to use another way to be able to walk several pets at once. Rabbit holes. This mod adds another go for a walk pie menu under the pet care pie menu section. There you will have three options. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes. These will open a sim pecker menu where you can choose the dog and cats to go with you for a walk. I recommend going near the spawn point at your lot and calling all of your pets over before using the interactions. Then she also suggests that you install the following mods so that you can get some more mod buffs if you have it installed. Uh, the next one is kids can go for a walk with dogs. Essentially, all this mod does is it enables the ability for your kids to go ahead and help out around the house and walk the freaking dog that they probably even asked for. And what this also does in addition is it actually helps with the responsibility for kids and teens. There is a known issue though that the animation is not made for children, so they may stretch at the beginning and end um, of a walk. Speaking of going for walks, now this mod here is one that I featured a while back and honestly I still really appreciate and miss this mod because I haven't had it in game for quite a while. The reason why I like this mod is because it adds a new interaction via The Sims to go for literally a walk, something you would think would be in The Sims 4. Just, you know, we could go for a jog. Why can't we go for a walk when we feel intense, upset, stressed, whatever the situation may be? And that is exactly what this mod will help with. This small mod adds an option to go for a walk. Going for a walk is fun and will reduce the following buffs. Sad, embarrassed, bored, angry, stressed, uncomfortable, and even the teenage mood swing. Children and teens will gain emotional control when going for a walk and you could also get some random buffs. I'm totally aware that I said that there was four mods when in reality it's actually just the three. So we're going to showcase all three right here and right now. So you know how we have pets in The Sims 4, which is amazing. And you'll also know how children somehow <laughs> escape the responsibility of what it feels like to be a pet owner. They don't have to walk the dogs. They barely have to do anything with them. So this might be me being a little ambitious, but I'm going to try to show off two of the mods at one time. Um, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe I will show them individually. So what we're going to do is we are actually going to have Vincent come over here and take Piper on a walk. So underneath pair, uh, pet care, I almost said pear care. <laughs> like, could you, could you picture that for a second? <laughs> oh my God. I, I literally, I'm envisioning a freaking bear. Um, but we are going to go on a walk with her. And the only thing that I am, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So the option for us to just traditionally take Piper out on a walk is very, very simple. We just, you know, go through the pet care. We leash her up, whatever. Um, I'm just trying to see what this animation is going it to look like and you're right yeah the, the, the children definitely get a little get a little gumby mode on them and of course Maverick here obviously doesn't trust Vincent to take little Piper on a walk I mean she might actually drag him down the street for all that we know and he seems a little nervous too um, but I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work right now we're just kind of standing here we're not even really like going any place but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get a to try to get Vincent to get out the door and I am noticing that for whatever reason, this isn't actually working. Let's try this. Let's try to leash her really quick. Or she's actually going outside. She already, she already took off, and she's gonna go and take a little, a little tinkle here on the sidewalk. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to troubleshoot this for a hot second. I don't know what the heck is going on or why it's not working. Um, but we're gonna try this one more time. We're just gonna try a long walk, and hopefully it'll work this time. Oh, she did the whole combo. Oh, she did the whole combo. So the leashing part is totally fine but when it comes to Vincent actually doing anything he's oh there he goes okay so just a little FYI you might actually need to start this um this what you might call it this uh this interaction outside in front of your doorstep that was actually really funny but other than that it seems to be working quite perfectly and so the other option that we can do because i have this issue all the freaking time you guys and i'm sure that so many of you guys have this issue when it comes to walking your dogs or walking your pets in general um it's the whole aspect of actually having to physically do it yourself which is definitely a little bothersome so what we're gonna do next 
next after um, after Vincent here goes and takes mm -hmm. Piper for a walk. We're going to actually have Shy go and take her on a walk, but via the, the rabbit hole option. Now, ideally, I would want more pets to show you guys how you can cluster them together, but I think you guys can pretty much get the gist of how that would work. If you had more pets, I think you can tag as many as three or maybe even possibly more. But the biggest thing was just making sure that this actually worked and that Piper was getting her needs met. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, Vincent is doing a pretty good job. And I feel like this is something that genuinely should have been here from the beginning. So another thing, another thing that I've already showcased before um, is is uh just going on a going for going on a walk for just your stems like just for you know just for issues and giggles so if you wanted to we could really make this a thing and we could make maverick here feel a little bit sad and what you can do with this is you can actually have your sims go ahead and kind of reverse these negative moodlets by going on a walk just kind of you know taking deep breaths a little bit just you know <laughs> stepping in dog poo because that's gonna do it <laughs> Oh my god, this is going great. Like, honestly, this is when all ish starts to hit the fan. But yeah, I love, I, I've showcased this before, but I really do love just the simplest of interactions, such as being able just to go for a afternoon stroll. I just feel like it is something, again, that should absolutely have been included in the game. It makes sense. You have jogging. Why not, being able, why not be able to go for a little walk? And as you guys can see, it seemed to have helped his negative moodlet. And in fact, I think he ended up getting a positive buff called crisp air from a good walk. Nothing like the smell of clean forest air, even though we're literally like... <laughs> in the middle of the suburbs also we have another one here sims that love outdoors love being outside so if your sim just so happens to love being outside they're definitely gonna enjoy a really good walk and i do believe vincent is still walking freaking pipers so i'm gonna actually have maverick be the one to go ahead and take over if it is possible i just feel so bad that vincent has been stuck walking this dog for three hours but in case you guys just were curious um it never ends it just you have to manually stop them i feel like so let's come over here let's do the same old shindig as you guys are gonna see the um rabbit hole version is gonna have a cute little leash on it and then we're gonna just do um a oh you wait hold on oh my god okay so not only can you wait seriously not only can you take your dog but you can go on a walk with other sims that is actually pretty cool so you can as a collective go on a walk with your pooch like a little family thing oh i love that okay so let's actually do 30 minutes because 60 minutes is kind of unnecessary and why not go and bring the entire family i'm gonna just see what this ends up looking like kind of scared kind of scared especially because i don't have everybody here but it does show that they have disappeared cool oh my goodness so everybody just went on a walk whenever the 30 minutes ends for each sim um they'll start popping back in which is probably the reason why you would want to have everybody um at the spawn lot at once or at the same location i do highly suggest getting the mod that allows you to control your pet so you kind of have a little more um a little more control over that. Call a babysitter. This mod allows you to call a babysitter. You can now call a babysitter via the phone household menu. Your sim will send a text to your chosen sim instead of calling them. The babysitter will arrive a few minutes later and will stay up to six hours. It will cost you $15 per an hour. Of course, you can send them home earlier with the ask to leave interaction. You can choose any sim with a mind. Oh, friendship value of 20 and a mind. They must be 18. You can call up to five babysitters at a time, which will each cost you $15 per an hour. Their behavior is based on the nanny behavior except of the feeding kids. They will still feed babies. If you want them to cook, you can use my Ask the Cook mod. What you also need to know. If you want to call more than just one babysitter, make sure to call them all within the same time to not double the costs. You can actually pay them every hour instead of a 
a sum at the end. I added several tuning files to adjust their behavior to take better care of the babies. If you use my Better Nanny mod, use the compatible version and download the updated Better, better Nanny version. Babies will still get sent to daycare if you leave the lot, even if there is a babysitter on the lot. I will maybe look into updating this in the future. Say your Sims are just home alone on a Sunday night and they really just need to get away from the kids. They're tired of the dog, stepping in the poo, dealing with all the drama of having two siblings at totally different ages. It is time for a little well-deserved R&R. All you need to do is just click your handy dandy frickin' a cell phone and hit call a babysitter and then all of the teens that your sim presently knows will pop up and they are able to select or hire any one that they choose. Now, this is actually a pretty cool mod because if this was also an option for maybe even, um, you know, like uh, adults or, you know, elders or whatever, you could hypothetically have like your, like your family members come over and babysit, which to me sounds a little more realistic, if I'm being honest, um, than just hiring like a random nanny, because that is something that people would totally do. And I wouldn't even mind hiring my, uh, my parents or maybe some close family friends or what have you to actually watch my children. Now, I don't know, again, if that is something that is available but if it is that is a really cool feature and it says of course I can babysit today I will be there in a few minutes so here comes Cassandra now obviously our children are like really old I mean we don't need oh my god he's already thinking like he is gonna go out and about and do his thing um let's actually have Maverick go ahead and kind of head off the lot for a little bit just to see what Cassandra does end up doing but if there is an option um available where you can actually have maybe you know your grandparents or the grandparents your parents whatever cousins uncles whoever come over and, and kind of do the same thing that a babysitter would that'd be pretty dope like that'd be really cool and so she even gets her own little her own little name plaque and it is seriously called babysitter you could actually have your sims go and interact with them just how you would pretty much a nanny again the only thing that they're not going to do is they're not going to cook they will however um take care of babies if you have anything or you know just 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 basic stuff like like that and I think that I can if I wanted to I can't I love how Maverick's like <laughs> this is just a trial don't get comfortable Cassandra and he's like peeking at her through the windows he's such a creep I love it um let me see do we get any cool child's play this play this place is just more playful for the kids I didn't know I didn't even read that honestly I just kind of like half-assed it but let's go over here and see if there's anything else that we can do so we can actually give her a tip like you normally would be able to and then I'm pretty pumped positive if we wanted we could dismiss her um but we can pay for pay by the hour or something maybe maybe not now how would i how would i dismiss her because it's not actually showing that we can we can also ask about siblings that's interesting uh, i haven't seen that one before discuss interests yeah i'm not seeing anything where we're able to dismiss her but maybe if I ask her to leave or if I have her just go away, um, if I have her just go away, she'll just charge me for however long she was there. So it doesn't seem like there's an official dismiss button, but I mean, it basically does the exact same freaking thing. Choose who you call to a meal. This tuning mod lets you choose who you want to call to a meal and if you will eat or not too. The new option call to meal and eat will allow you to choose Sims to come and eat with you. The call to meal option will let you choose the Sims to come and eat but you won't eat unless you are hungry and autonomously will take action. The normal call to meal option is still available. Sometimes pick sims can get the typical routing error depending on their distance because another sim is already using the object. Unfortunately, I can't change that. It's the following day and Shiloh and Darling Walsh are actually playing a little party of frenzy. I'm pretty sure that they're all getting really hungry. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and have Shiloh pop into the kitchen and to serve a little dinner because also Maverick should be coming home from work in a little bit. So let's go and have her try to make some vegetable dumplings while everybody else is enjoying their video game. The reason why I think this is vital is because there are several times where maybe your sims in the household are on two completely different freaking schedules and every time that you cook may not be the every time that you want to eat and so you could call like just particular sims like maybe just the kids or just the toddlers or just your husband 
Pokemon. Who really even knows? But I do feel like this is such a vital little mod. Um, and it definitely is going to make just your life a whole bunch easier. So we're just going to have her kind of zoom on through. Maverick came home from work. He is in his little uniform, looking like a whole snack and a half. Speaking of <laughs> speaking of dinner. Um, and you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and roll the dice on this one. Hopefully, the advice was right, and it looks like it was. So let's go back and check up on Shy, and here we are. So with this, we should be able to, there we are, look at that. We can call to the meal and eat, which I guess means we would eat two, maybe, possibly. I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. So say we just called Vincent, and we also went ahead and snagged a little plate. So therefore, Maverick isn't like autonomously cool to go to the meal. However, if we wanted to call the meal, oh, whoa, okay. So yeah, we could literally just call to meal for everybody or we could just call to meal um for specific sims so let's call um let's just call shiloh i guess again and this means we won't eat either so wait hold on a second call the meal and eat got you okay so the first one we'll grab a plate the second one we won't and then the original call the meal where it literally just hails everybody also is still an option and these final two mods are very similar so we're just going to also go ahead and group them together so here we have the no work new holiday tradition like the school holiday traditions mod this mod gives young adults and above a day off work this new tradition to use via the calendar holiday feature and should work for custom careers too just add this tradition to a holiday and your sims will get a free day you don't need to add any extra tradition the day off will fulfill the tradition immediately. There are three traditions. No work, no work women only, no work men only. Don't check the day off option on the top of the holiday setting window or else children and teens will get a free day too. So then speaking of free days for children and teens, we also have the school holiday option available too. Like my school holidays mod, this mod gives teens and children a day off of school. Instead of random, not planable school holidays, this is a a new tradition to use via the calendar holiday feature. Just add this tradition to a holiday and your sims will get a free day. You don't need to add any extra traditions. The day off will fulfill the holiday tradition immediately and basically the exact same don't do this or that apply for the no work holiday tradition as well. So the reason why these no work no school exemptions are so vital is because currently right now when you do plan a holiday you do actually have the option to take off of work and school but you don't have the option to separate them. So this is really important because say you wanted to have maybe your kids take a little summer break, okay, or summer vacation. Um, you don't obviously want your adults to have to sit there and babysit them for the next three, four days or however long that it is that you choose. So we can go in and use the custom icons, which add a bunch of new selections to the catalog and really make this thing feel official. However, do remind yourself to untick this little box everything should still work as it would and then right here you're gonna see no school today have fun so it's gonna be under school hol school holidays took me a really long time to find this and I already know what you're thinking okay listen <laughs> don't judge me um so yeah basically there we go we have planned you know a little a little summer break on the calendar and say maybe we wanted to um we wanted can I delete this holiday is it possible to like get rid of this crap because I just you know I can't but okay maybe we made it for Thursday right we just wanted to go um and do a little you know self-love day or something I don't freaking know self-love day and we only wanted it to be us we didn't want to have to deal with the kids or anything like that so we could just do no work but obviously if you have like a husband and wife or something like that um or multiple genders in the household and you only want it to be girls or whatever you can kind of separate that a little bit by just clicking one gender or uh, or the other obviously if you do have you know a same-sex couple you're gonna probably be arguing about who should be going to work and who should be staying home but you know what I mean it kind of works so it's there it's an option for you and if we really wanted to make it feel 
real legit, we could actually go and choose a little icon that kind of fits the bill. Don't really know if I have anything here actually that I think looks good for self love day. Um, but yeah, maybe we could just give ourselves some flowers and that's all that you need to do. If you wanted to, you could obviously add in more traditions for obviously, um, you know, uh, summer break or whatever. It's easy peasy like you can. And yes, I can't actually. No, I can't. Weird. So these ones are like planned and I can't do anything about them. But like obviously the ones that we created, we can. So if you wanted to add in more traditions, you could. But it's really not that big of a deal. And just to make sure that this actually works, we're going to fast forward to the manana. So it does indeed work. Shiloh is out here enjoying her summer break by lounging in the kiddie pool while her poor dad slaves away in the office. So this is definitely, again, just one of those little added, you know, something somethings that really do bring a little bit of realism um, to your game. And I appreciate that. I really like that a lot. So I kind of feel all of these mods in some sort of way kind of complement each other. They're not huge mods where you have like a learning curve or anything. They're super easy to install and all of that jazz. And Vincent is feeling a little bit sad because he seems to want a new brother or sister. And unless, unless Maverick wants to adopt or somehow can pop out a child himself, I don't envision that happening anytime soon. So if you guys are interested in picking up any of these mods that were showcased here today, again, I will link you guys to my website where they will be there in order. And with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys mm -hmm.